you can get your hands on. Loads of tractor tires, car tires, loads of scaffolding. We got some free weights and stuff. Anything we can use, trees, ropes, each other. Keeping it natural, yeah. basically. Here, big, big difference. We've got four, five, six pitches, CrossFit gym, loads of equipment, two very good trainers. They're right at our reach as well. Do you see a difference, though? Do you yeah. feel a difference? Yeah, when you... feel a lot fitter. I mean, your posture has changed. You do your whole outlook and everything has changed. It's very positive for everybody. What we bless with is that we're together. We get to push each other. We get to guide each other. We get to argue with each other when we think <laughs> someone's doing something different. It's like a, like a family, like a brotherhood. Even after weeks of intensive training, Barbados still face a mighty barrier, the competition. They're taking on home nation Scotland and Commonwealth champions New Zealand. We're kind of days away from the game starting. How, how are you feeling about the competition? We're showing that we are a unit and we can be competitive if we work together. We're just basically looking forward to hearing the anthem, feeling our hearts beating fast and <laughs> you know, really want to get out there and represent our country because at the end of the day, that's what this trip is about. That's what the Commonwealth Games means for us. Do you see yourselves as underdogs? Under underdogs. Under underdogs. No one's going to see us coming. <laughs> I like that. I love that. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Edith. Now, uh, earlier on, we asked for previous photos of, of previous Commonwealth Games, I should say. Now, we've had lots in from this year, but not many from previous Games. Um, Eleanor Gattrell from Mokin at the 2012 Commonwealth Games in Delhi. Here she is. She came seventh in the shot put. There we are. Keep them coming. Now, a big thank you to all of our guests this evening. Uh, you can see Nicola Benedetti playing the opening ceremony on Wednesday night. Her album, Homecoming, is out now. Now, speaking on the music thing, we're going to finish with a brilliant piece of music, which is been found by scientists to, I quote, give people a feeling of excitement.